pointless rule news. Aren't all rules pointless? Yep. Nah, like the law for not murdering. Not Murder. Yeah, yeah, we all have the same thought. <laughs> you know, don't rape in public. Uh, know, in public. Yeah. <laughs> rape in private, please. Be yeah, decent. Yeah. Don't rape in public. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Submitted <laughs> by Cheetos or Doritos. Cheetos all the way. Doritos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming. He didn't say flaming. You can't make it your you can't own. Oh, if it's the cheese Cheetos and Doritos all the way. Doritos yeah. ranch. You can't pick! You just said Cheetos, bro. <laughs> but I don't want cheese Cheetos. Cheetos. Then Doritos! Yeah. Yeah, but then like regular original Doritos? Because both of them are really bad choices. Who the fuck? That, how dare you, you fucking So fucker. complicated. Fuck kill you. That's like saying, you want the yellow Starburst or the orange Starburst? They both fucking suck. Orange. Orange or shit. Better than yeah. the yellow. Yeah, that's so true. The fuck those ones, dude. <laughs> orange is awesome. Oh, like the white, the white gummy bear or the green gummy bear? Yeah. Well, with the Haribo oh. gummy bears, the yeah, green is, is apple. It oh, is, is it? Oh. Yeah, it's okay. good. Maybe I've only ate the bootleg like, ones. Like, lime. No lime. Oh, yeah. It's like one flavored dum dum or another flavored dum dum. Like, who the fuck cares? They're both trash. Yeah. <laughs> why do they have that throwaway, sh like, flavor? Do you like the root beer one? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, why yeah, do they? To sort the fucking weirdos. I know. If you okay. like the green or the purple, you're a you're weirdo. <laughs> Throwaway flavors, dude. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up, <laughs> fucking maniac. Students at a Pennsylvania school are being forced to smile while walking in the hallways. That's like Singapore, man. I like that. In Singapore, you have to smile? Yeah, I feel, well, I feel like they, I I feel like they do, because like they all are like fake smiles. Is it like the dog tr conditioning, where they're not confident, you just lift the tail up constantly, and it helps them be confident? That's how you give a yeah. dog confidence? Well, actually, it even works It works in humans, yeah. so. Oh, yeah, when you do this. There's how your internal psychology affects your physical expression, mm -hmm. but there's also, it works in the reverse. So as, if you're a sad ass motherfucker, if you physically smile more, it will make you more positive on the inside. Know, if someone's forcing me to do anything though, I'm immediately pissed. Like mm -hmm. I'll smile. How you like that smile? That's a smile for you. <laughs> but if you if you do it long enough, you actually believe yeah. it. You actually believe it if you do it long enough. Yeah, you like that shit, Gio? That's a real smile. The other one's creepy. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's long long eyes. Forcing me to do it. It's like all like. But if you do it long enough, you'll believe it. But if someone is like, "Hey, here's a tip. If you do this more, blah," and I'm like, "Oh, I should try that out. I'll do it." And then it works, then that's cool. But if someone's like, "You gotta do this," I'm like, Ugh. "That's what this school is saying." So they're saying that if you are walking down the hallways and if you don't smile, you get called to the office. We'd be like, "My mom just died, motherfucker!" Then they're gonna make you see smile. a guidance counselor, and you have to talk about your problems then, or else you get detention. I would love to do that. See, then I'm just like this. The whole time. I think mean, that's what students are doing. You probably. know what though? Pennsylvania did the fucking witch hunt shit, right? Or no, that's Salem. Salem. Close enough. They got the pilgrims and shit over there. <laughs> the fucking, Close enough. They got the guys that are, what is it? The fucking Quaker Oats guys? The, the Quakers? Amish. Yeah, Amish. Oh. The Amishes, man. Oh. Or you can take out the Oats. I mean, <laughs> you know, they wear the same <laughs> clothes as the witch yeah. people. I thought they were the Quakers. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the oatmeal. Yeah, the that's fucking right. But he Washington said it. Guy. Just take out the Oats. That's right. That's so funny. But, you know, the guys that fucking manufacture oatmeal, you know? Yeah. The only, Oats are yeah. made by the Quakers, the Quaker Oats. Yeah. Quaker Oats. He's still sticking to the oatmeal, though. Oatmeal. Just take up the oatmeal. All right, the happy pirates. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like the happy pirate. Happy it looks pirate. like a happy pirate. They're like, they're like the pirates before they actually saw some shit. Yeah. Dude. You know what I mean? Before they went through a lot of problems. That's what pirates used to look like. like <laughs> Yeah. That's fucking genius. That's genius, bro. I don't even think about that shit, dude. Happy pirates. Happy pirates. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so this whole rule here, it's so stupid to everyone involved, except for the principal who enacted this rule here. <laughs> because parents and teachers and students are saying, like, we have a real bullying problem at the school, but that's being ignored. And yeah, what a waste being, of time. Now we're being forced to smile. So it's like, hey, I know you guys are getting fucked up by the bullies, but smile. And then when you have to tell your problems, like, hey, what's your problems? That I'm being forced to smile. I would just love to talk to a guidance counselor. That'd be nice. You never smile. did? No, but every time I talk to a guidance counselor, it's because they were blaming me for punching people, though. Oh. That's different. Blaming you for punching people? Because <laughs> it's not your fault blaming when you punch you. people. Didn't you actually punch people? No, but I was being bullied, though. Oh. But bye. did you or did you not punch people? That's... <laughs> That's irrelevant because I was, they didn't I listen was to the story. I blamed for something I did. <laughs> but it, listen, if they're hurting my feelings, punch them. Oh, it just sounds very good. <laughs> 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 they hurt my feelings. I'm saying that 
Ugh, never mind. They punched my feelings. I, I, I got nothing. You sound like the bully, dude. They punched my feelings, <laughs> so I had to punch their face. No, they hurt my feelings, and so... Oh, God. They emotionally abused you, so you physically abused them. Yes! I liked hers better. They punched my heart. Yeah. So they I were punched, punched my, his face. They were punching my feelings, and they are making me feel bad, and I asked them to stop, so I punched their physical feelings. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. So funny. So yeah, this high school is in the Northern Lebanon School District. It's Northern Lebanon High School. And so yeah, a lot of these parents are just complaining, saying like, her daughter has been bullied at that school, and they complained about it, and even administrative people at that school also filed complaints, but then the higher ups, like the principal, is not doing anything about it. So it's like, what's the point of having such a dumb rule when you can't even solve actual problems? Did, did the article say how she got bullied? It was like typical bullying stuff, like girls calling her names or like shoving her in the hallway. One way I could see it helping, it's even if you are bullied, just smile. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think that's the solution? It's, that's not the solution, but I'm saying like, let's say you're getting bullied anyways, right? Choose kindness. Yeah, so if you're getting, if you're, if you're getting bullied anyways, <laughs> it's the dumbest then shit. you might as well not it, Sit back and enjoy it? Yeah, like not, the turn the other cheek yeah, method. Don't be, don't be handicapped by it. You know what I mean? Like for example, like some people that get their bike stolen, right? And they're like, "Oh fuck, there's there's my that transportation only once, to go though. to school." This is like a repetitive thing every single day. You, you know, what'd be cool though yeah. if he explained it. He just packaged it wrong. It's a woman. So reason why it sucks, but then. <laughs> 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 okay. What if what if she said it this way? What if she said it this way? She was like, she was like, you know what? There's always gonna be bullies in this world, but. You can control how you feel. See, that's what I'm saying. And you could be like, you could smile in the faces of your enemy. Well, and give them the option. That, instead of saying that, this is her go-to saying, statement, or question, is what can you do to be less of the problem and more of the solution? That's what she's telling kids that are being oh. bullied. That's like telling a hungry person to think about a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still hungry, bitch. Like, what the fuck yeah. does that do? You, you know, know what I mean? You know the way to make a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. We hear so many things like this, and we personally experienced Fucking so much stupidity coming from the higher ups yeah. Yeah. in schools. And I'm like, how the fuck do these people get these positions? Because if you're like a 13 year old and you fucking outsmart them and you can see the hypocrisy and the stupidity, it's like, how the, f how the fuck does this happen? And are the people that choose these administrative jobs and all that, are they all fucking morons? Yeah. You know what's hard too? It's like, we, we always have advice for like youth when it comes to being bullied, but at the same time, I. I I can remember being like 15 and 16, and it's it's not it's, you don't have that adult perspective, so it's so fucking hard to do these things that we have solutions for, you know? Like I'd be able to do it if I could take my mind now and become a 15, 16 year old. Yeah, yeah of course I'd be able to handle because I'm a lot smarter. Rager, raging hormones too that also but, affect the way. you And think. you also have to have these experiences first to have the mindset exactly. that you have That's now. The hard part about being a teen, dude. It evolved through that and yeah. succeed at it because exactly. if you were a loser now you'd probably wouldn't even know what to tell yourself at 15. yeah dude you'd be a loser Fuck. yeah teenagers i fucking feel you i know what it's like man that's true because if you've if, if you're a girl right like and then you never went through sexual harassment or <clears throat> teasing or whatever you become a mother you have a daughter exactly and then you hear your daughter's stories and you go oh my god really that's scary and then you get you fucking cry and be scared together instead of being a, a strong mother that's like all right i've been through this motherfucker this is what you're gonna do yeah right yeah because i know people like that shit but. well they don't necessarily have to go through it either i mean they could just educate themselves and help the daughter instead of just being so like Ugh. yeah but if people haven't gone through it it's scary so, yeah but, but like them making but them forcing them to smile that's the thing it's like if you went through an experience and then you got better from it and then you learned that this is how to solve it is by like smiling or whatever then that's different than being told you, you have, have to smile, smile. Right? And Poor then, execution. What you were saying. She's not inspiring. She's yeah. just like. She's like yeah. demanding. Yeah, she's like, you just need to suck at the forcing, fuck up and smile. Forcing me to smile actually makes me more upset. That's what I'm saying. You know what it mean? makes me want to rebel against it. and. Like, I've, I've been into like certain situations where like I clearly don't want to be at this event, right? And I have to force myself to smile and it drains the life out of me. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, I'll see like my manager, he'll be next to me and he'll see me. He's like, dude, you chopped it up really nice. You must have had a great time. And as we leave the door, I go. Yeah. 
And he's like, what the fuck? Because I thought you were having a good time. I'm like, oh, no, I wasn't. Yeah. I just had to do what I had to do, and I left. That's how I am, too. How come my natural good, state? It's not a good social skill to have instead of having a bitch face in that oh, yeah. environment and negative. I think what he's everyone. saying, though, is that when it's something is forced upon you, it's, it's draining. It's yeah, draining. No, so I know. It, it, so, it goes against So I think if it's forced really upon you, to. for sure it's draining, right? Like, no one wants to be forced to do anything. Eating the food you don't like, whatever, yeah, yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. the music you don't like. A hundred percent. But what is being forced upon you is a positive outlook on what is the worst thing that could be happening to you. So I feel like it's an exercise that can be used to actually help your brain see things the other if way. If it's explained so, that so, way. So for example, so for example uh, when I was in boot camp, if you ever showed your teeth, you're getting popped in the face. And what they mean by showing your teeth is, you know when you run three miles or whatever, you're breathing like this? So the minute you show your teeth, you're getting popped in the face no matter what. They call uh, holding your bearings and having composure. So you could run something like the craziest sprint, you can go through a shooting exercise, whatever, your face must look like this, right? And that's forced upon you or else you're getting punched in the face. But I, what I really, really liked about that exercise is it teaches you no matter how crazy your heartbeat is, how much you're fucking sweating, ultimately your calmness depends on you. If you don't let it overwhelm you. If you let the insides overwhelm you and you end up going like this, then you you end up being overwhelmed by your, your emotion. So what I like about this is no matter how much bullshit you're going through in here, it's still up to you if you wanna put this on. And if you wanna see it as being forced, then yeah, you are being forced. But if someone is telling you this rule and you can embrace it and put it on, I think you're that much stronger. Well, I think the, the job here is that they're not explaining it like Thank how you're you. saying it. Mm -hmm. so 100%. It's all about a leader being able to persuade. 100%. So if the le if the leader mm -hmm. can execute, like she probably has great intentions, right? And it's yeah. for the students. But all if she's just saying, you gotta fucking smile now, yeah. and that's it. And like, what and can you do to not be Because it's not the military, it's right. regular civilian life. Right. Yeah. She needs to explain her motive and why. And if she sucks at doing that, then it's gonna have backlash because no one's gonna know why, why? we're smiling. Yeah. yeah, it's like the parent punching you for no yeah. fucking reason. Right. It's yeah. like it, there's yeah. no sense, and it takes longer to learn, and there's gonna be resentment between Absolutely. teachers and students. Uh, Absolutely. If, she's, if she was an inspiring, motivational like leader, that, like how right. he broke yeah. it down, I'd be yeah. like, yeah. fuck yeah. Perspective. Yeah. If someone told you, you know what? No matter what, you know, like uh, laugh in the face of your enemy, and that's just gonna be the best thing you can ever do throughout life. Then, then you get it, right? And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I could control how I feel. Yeah. yeah. I can't control what they do, but I can control how I feel. Yeah. So basically, I like it, but I think it's poor execution. Yeah. True. That's such an interesting thing in the military. That's yeah. so dope. You guys made me see what the point of this yeah. is now. I, you changed my perspective. Yeah. I don't do that now. Now I'm running, I'm tired as oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm like, oh god damn. <laughs> That's you all. earned it. There's no one punching now. me in the yeah. face anymore. <laughs> Last week at JK Deals, he was doing kicks and running. I saw this will show the fuck out of his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one punching me in the face.